What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 i s a t News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Paz Bueno, and I'm Trevor Tortomasi. In today's news, a snake on a train, a new multicolored species of fish, and the largest volcanic eruption in the 21st century. All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. A snake rides on a train. What would you do if you saw a snake while riding on a train? On April 18th, the morning train between Miaoli and Hualien was interrupted, Zhongduan, when a snake was spotted on board. The conductor made an emergency announcement to inform the passengers. 列车长发布紧急通知，通知乘客 And the train made a temporary. 暂时的 stop in Elon Station so that firefighters could get on the train and catch the snake. It was found on the luggage rack, 行李架 in one of the train carriages. The animal was identified as a 90 centimeter boa constrictor, mangse. Boa constrictors are non-venomous, 无毒的 meaning that they don't produce venom when they bite. These animals are not native, Bantuda, to Taiwan, and they are mostly found in South America. The investigators believe that it could be a pet that escaped, Taotuo, its owner. Many passengers took pictures and videos as the snake slithered, huaxing, on the handrails and between the seats. The police say that pet owners should not bring animals into the station or on the train without permission, Yunshu. People who break the rule will have to pay a fine, jiao fa kuan, between 1,500 and 7,500 NT. Going global. 在马尔蒂夫发现了一种新的五颜六色的鱼 a new species of multicolored fish in the Maldives. Scientists in the Maldives, 马尔蒂夫 have discovered a new kind of multicolored fish, 多色的鱼 The rose-veiled fairy ras is a colorful sea creature that lives up to 300 feet deep in an area of the ocean called the Twilight Zone. 海中的目光地带 The rose-veiled fairy ras was mistaken, Beiu 认为 for its relative, the rosy scales fairy ras, for a long time. That's because both fish live in the same habitat, Chishidi, grow to three inches long and look alike. But there are some small differences, Chubie. Rose-veiled fairy wrasses have more rounded tail fins, Wei Chi. Because it's so dark underwater, it's hard to tell if the adults of the two species are different colors. In the end, scientists decided there were enough differences to call it a separate species, Wu Zhong. They named it Cirhilabras finifenma after the national flower Guohua of the Maldives. The word finifenma means rose in the local language. Yuan. Today's feature. 二十一世纪最大的火山爆发 the biggest volcanic eruption in the 21st century. Tonga's volcanic explosion in 2022 may be the biggest eruption 爆发 of the 21st century. 二十一世纪 the eruption pushed out ten cubic kilometers of material, created a shock wave that went around the Earth several times, and emitted ash plumes, 排放灰雨 the size of France. By using a newly developed algorithm, 算法 scientists were able to figure out the size of the eruption in Tonga. It's called the Volcanic Explosivity Index (VEI), and it says eruptions of this size happen every 50 to 100 years. Such an algorithm could be useful in remote places, 偏远地区 where there isn't a lot of equipment to measure eruptions. This new approach uses seismic waves to estimate 估计 eruption size. Today, scientists have thousands of seismic monitoring stations, 地震监测站 
that can detect earthquakes even over long distances. It can also estimate volcanic eruption size in as little as an hour if enough data is available, helping to estimate the size of the resulting ash cloud and how that might impact the environment. 可以在短短一个小时内估计火山喷发的规模、产生的火山灰云以及可能对环境造成的影响。Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai erupted in January 2022 and destroyed 90 percent of the uninhabited island Urendao. It was on. The volcano exploded into seawater instead of open air, so it affected Yingxiang, the blast and tsunami that followed. For now, the researchers say their algorithm is easy to use and can be tweaked. Tiao Zheng. In many ways, in the future, however, it already makes calculations, 计算 very quickly, and as data on more eruptions are collected, the algorithm can be improved. Gai Shan. The recap. So, in today's news bites, a boa constrictor was found on a train going from Miaoli to Hualien. Firefighters got on the train to catch it. And they think it was a pet that ran away from its owner. And scientists discovered a new type of multicolored fish in the Maldives called a rose-veiled fairy wrasse. They live 300 feet deep in the ocean, and they are named after Maldives' national flower. And Tonga's volcanic eruption might be the biggest one in the 21st century. Scientists use an algorithm to calculate how big it was. The algorithm can calculate the size of volcanic eruptions from far, far away, and that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about food. There's a saying in English: "It's raining cats and dogs." It means it's raining really hard. But that idea of strange things raining down from the sky really makes you think, right? If the sky could rain food, what food would you like to have rain down? Record your message and send it to newsbites n e w s b i t e s at i c r t dot com dot t w with your name and age, and if you'd like the name of your school. Make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K to 12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app.